Our bear hunt today, uh, the method is with dogs. This is the last year, 2012, that you'll be able to hunt bears in California with hounds. Today we're using hounds and uh, we have two different crews staking out a couple different areas that are uh, thick with bears and uh, we'll see who pops one up first. All right, let me show you what I'm using. <laughs> My little favorite rifle now, it's a Savage Lightweight. This is a 270 caliber. I got it topped off with a BSA Majestic Scope. The reason why I like carrying this lightweight is because up here in the mountains, uh, this rifle weighs slightly over, about five and a half pounds. It's a whole lot lighter than a normal, regular rifle. All right, one thing is that uh, I want to point out these trees are tall, really, really tall. I mean, they're 70 feet tall, maybe 80 feet tall, and what happens is they're going to be up in there. You got to make sure you get a clear shot, and they may be all the way up the top of the tree. You talk about some unbelievable thick country, too. This is a little bear hunter right here, and unfortunately, with uh, what's happened in California and the regulation as far as hounds, this little boy will never be allowed to do, as a grown-up, what we're doing today, and I just think that's sad. There are more bears here than I ever imagined. Every single road we've been down, every single road, we've seen bear tracks, lots of them. This is absolutely incredible, the feeling. You know the bear's right there because the dog's right there. And this is what uh, hunting with hounds is all about. Boy, that's a big old tree. From the looks of it, it, it looks like it's about a, probably a three-year-old, maybe a four-year-old bear. Uh, it is opening weekend of bear season here. And it's October and uh, it's Sunday, Sunday morning. And hear the choir singing behind us? Listen to it good, because what's gonna happen one year from now, or after this hunting season's over, the choir's gonna be silenced forevermore in Northern California. I think that's sad. What we've got, we've got a nice bear up in the tree. The dogs have done their job. Now it's time for me to do my job. The problem is he's hung up in some limbs. What we're trying to do is see if we can get a shot to where when I do hit him and kill him, he comes to the ground where we don't have to go up in the tree after. Yeah, I can't see him really good. I mean, he is nestled in those branches big time. All right, yeah, he's moving. There's his head. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Bear hunting with hounds in California. It is, uh, this is something that, unfortunately, this will be the last year this is ever done. And the dogs right now, they're doing what they live to do. Mm. This is a historic thing for me. Um, Northern California, where they have outlawed the future of bear hunting with hounds. And I think that's just a tragedy. Uh, hunting bears with hounds has been a tradition for generations upon generations. And right now what we have is we have a all-American family that has been, they've grown up hunting bears this way. And for the politicians and the legislators and all to have, to have stolen this from them, in order to make people feel good down in the southern half of the state of the rest of the United States that you can't and you shouldn't hunt bears this way, I just think is, is, is a crying shame. One of the things that 
the hound hunting does for a, for a bear hunter is it gives you the ability to be able to, yes, make a good shot, good ethical shot, but it makes sure that you're shooting the right bear. Uh, if you're spotting and stalking bears and you see a bear out there with a rifle that's got magnification, you throw up on it, you don't really know how big it is. There's nothing to gauge it by. But when they're up in a tree like this, you can look up there and say, okay, that, that, that's a nice bear. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. You can also tell if it's a lactating sow or not. You can get up underneath it and tell and that's not a lactating sow. Uh, if a bear goes up in a tree and it had cubs with it, you'd see the cubs up there with it and nobody wants to shoot a sow that's got cubs. So hunting with hounds, it's a fun thing to do. It's been a tradition for many, many years. And in my opinion, it's one of the most ethical ways to hunt black bear. Boom! After somebody's harvested a bear, you make sure somebody goes up to it to make sure that it's not moving, and then you turn the dogs loose and they go up to see what they've captured because they know what they're chasing, but it's their reward to get to see the what they've caught. I love watching the dogs. Uh, the relationship that the owners have with these dogs are pretty incredible. You know, as you look at them and they're, they're bellowing and making all the racket stuff, you may think these are really, really mean dogs. No, they're not. These are wonderful dogs. These dogs are doing their job. They, it's, it's in their blood, in their DNA, to track down bears and to do what they do. And, and these owners, it's, it, it's in their blood. Uh, it's been passed down from generation to generation. These people love these dogs. I've never spent any time up in Northern California. I spent time in Southern California, just enough time to get the heck out. But Northern California is as pretty a country as our country has. The forests and the mountains and the beautiful trees, it's uh, some kind of gorgeous up here. Mount Shasta is not too far away from here. Uh, there, there's, there's still a lot of uh, deer, black-tail deer. There are some mule deer. Uh, we're gonna be doing a black-tail hunt up here. The, the game population really is big in Northern California. And uh, I encourage you, you, when you've got, uh, you know, you're looking at hunts that you may want to do down the road, you may want to consider coming to Northern California because there's not a lot of hunting pressure. The country's big. And let me tell you something, it is beautiful.